Hello. So, I am just on a little lunch break. <clears throat> and I decided to grab some Jersey Mike. Well, I'm not really on a lunch break. I'm waiting on a delivery. Ooh, that smells yummy. Uh, so, anyway, I was in the area and I got some Jersey Mike's. I got the number 64, Mike's Way. Now, I don't know what any of this means, but it looks and smells delish. Number 64 was a portobello mushroom with Swiss. Okay. Mike. I thought I did it Mike's way. Hmm. Hmm. I thought that's like with lettuce. Maybe not. Anyway. a touch of that and some hot sauce and it will be perfect so that's what I'm adding now I got my salt and pepper I have some Tabasco <laughs> I keep packets of, of sauces in my car guys I gotta stay ready because I eat on the go all the time so there's a train sorry if you guys can't hear me it again good vegetarian meal I have um unsweet tea with a little splash of sweet Like I said, not bad. Okay. It's pretty simple. I probably would have added like um, lettuce, tomato to it as well. I could have sworn that's what Mike's Way meant, but I think Mike's Way actually is oil or something. Mm. Mm. I would add banana peppers to this as well. Jalapeno. Banana peppers, jalapeno, lettuce, and tomato. If you like simplicity, this might be perfect for you. I like a, a good balance of flavor. Yeah. I like a good little balance. Oops. <clears throat> so, right now I'm doing Favor and DoorDash. DoorDash has this promo where if you do six before four o'clock, you'll get at least a minimum of $60, right? And most of the time, if you don't hit $60, they'll round you up to $60. So right now I'm on my fifth one. I've been on my fifth one since 3 o'clock. They did the same thing yesterday. I was on my fifth one 
waiting for my sixth and they um they sent me my sixth one but then it didn't come to my phone it just showed that it was canceled so they canceled my sixth one and today i'm waiting an hour it's probably gonna pass they may end up sending it since it's been like an hour yesterday it was like maybe 3 30 um so i waited like maybe 20 to 30 minutes but this time i, I see what you're doing baby it's okay though i'm not tripping because i'm doing i do i multi-app so i'm still making you know a good amount of money i just don't like when people play with me two things you don't play with three besides my so my kids my food and my money mm -mm, don't play so i don't know if you guys are familiar with bashar he's one of the um sort of spiritual guides that i really resonate with <clears throat> I was listening to him today to one of his seminars and he brought up a topic that a lot of people don't really dive into or at least that I haven't really come across yet as far as like be, being able to create your own realities and how you can die but you don't have to you can choose to like continue life the exact same way in a parallel dimension even if you do die you don't really have to die or you can choose to you know come back start over blah 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 um and so it's funny because i've always thought about that there are a couple times i don't really have what you would consider typical near death experiences right but i did have a few experiences where i was like thinking like what if like one time this is this is um you know really it's okay it, i mean the story's not that crazy but it could have been right and so it was like one time we woke up to my apartment actually i've woke up to my apartment smoking multiple times not gonna lie um just because i've i've been a single mom with my daughter she's 10 now single mom with her um and then now my son so i'm not gonna act like i haven't fallen asleep whatever um anyway i'm not gonna talk about the first the first like time or so maybe even more than one time but with my daughter I'm, I'm talking about specifically the time with my son this was like more recently um so i was boiling his bottles and i just so happened i guess to fall asleep because i was working nights i was working nights and i had him during the day and so the only time i would really get to sleep was when he would take his naps um so it was like it was really hard on me i'm not gonna lie i remember boiling the bottles that's how we sanitize them and i guess i fell asleep and usually i would wake up i'm not gonna say i haven't boiled them and the water goes down a little bit to where it's like you know burning the bottles but i've never done it to where it was like smoky so yeah i woke up in the completely my entire apartment completely engulfed in smoke and so um you know i wake up and i have to like really open all the windows i um made sure because my sister was there at the time as well um her her room was a little smoky but it wasn't bad her door was closed everything else in the apartment was completely smoked out my baby um i think he was like whining a little bit or crying i think as far as i can remember it's kind of hazy i'm not gonna lie i just woken up to to that so i got him out of the apartment put him in the car you know turn the car on put him in his car seat 
and I just made sure all of the doors were open um all the windows were open everything like that there was no my smoke alarm didn't go off or anything which is crazy smoke alarm didn't go off um nobody called the fire department there was no fire but that plastic was like literally my entire apartment was engulfed so that was that um anyway i say all that told that story just to say i think about that that day a lot not really as much as you know a lot would even mean right i don't think about it a lot a lot but when i do think about it I, i've always thought before i came across this that like what if i died that day not what if i would have died it was like what if i what if we died like i was already thinking that what if we actually died that day and me and my baby i guess mm -mm. hop to another dimension i don't know <laughs> i'm just saying a parallel dimension right right though so anyway mm, just wondering if other people like kind of believe that and I don't feel like things are really different different but There are some things that I feel like make more sense if I were to be in a different dimension, you know? And honestly, even if that weren't the case, and I just so happened to, like, just wake up right in the nick of time, like, what it seemed like, you know? That's pretty much what he says, Bashar, is, you know? That's pretty much what, so I'm gonna have to figure out the name of that um, video on YouTube and I'm probably gonna put it as a title or include it in the title. <clears throat> because he touches on a lot more, like how we're creating our reality moment to moment like each moment is like a new version or whatever you know it's kind of like we quantum leap as we go on and make our experiences we have different parallel universes And so you can always choose. You don't ever have to die. I guess. Because I've been, um, I've been reading a couple of books as well. You know, a couple of different occult books. And if I ever feel guided to share, I will. But. <clears throat> just about us being immortal, you know? Hmm. I want to know. I know I'm not the only one who believes in this sort of thing. I just want to know if there are any people that, any subbies that believe in this sort of thing, you know? Because I believe, like, everybody finds the people that are in their reality everybody finds them for a reason mm. i'm just rambling though I'm trying to pass the time so now i have like 20 minutes still waiting for a favor to send something <laughs> but they probably won't which is fine
Lost bait. That was pretty good. If you guys are looking for vegetarian. So I think I'm going to... I don't know. I want to start back um, with vegan foods, but you got to start where you are. And although I was vegan for seven years, that's not really where I am right now. So I'm going to take it slow um, because I was vegetarian before I was vegan for seven years. I, I was vegetarian for two. So um, maybe for other people who are looking to like transition, I can help you find just just easy ways to start transitioning because that's kind of what I needed in the beginning so I guess this is vegetarian consider you know since you're a vegetarian um vegetarian as some people know if you are looking to do less meat in your life or more vegetables whatever or healthier options vegetarian is simply no meat um no meat no fish if you want to do fish or seafood that is considered pescatarian so pescatarian is no meat but you can still have seafood you can also have dairy products and um, like eggs but it's just no meat vegetarian is no meat and no fish but you can still have dairy and you can still have eggs okay vegan um is none of the above you are it's pretty much only vegetables grains fruits um tofu things like that that is vegan you do not consume any animal products you don't consume um dairy you don't consume eggs you don't consume fish um also you don't consume things that are made or you know have anything to do with animals like most people don't wear leather uh you do not eat honey because you know vegans are very sensitive about their honey um last bite also a lot of the more hardcore vegans they are conscious about their carbon footprint their waste you know trying to recycle as much as you can um trying to buy things in bulk that way you're not creating so much waste things like that also it's a sugar thing as well um oh gelatin that's also something that vegans do not consume gelatin you have to make sure it's usually in gummies sometimes not all the time um jello pudding things like that have gelatin so you got to make sure you're not consuming that um like i said you can still to me be considered vegan and still consume sugar but there are some hardcore hardcore vegans who literally are like no sugar that's processed with the the regular sugar i guess it's pro processed with bone char so with animal bone char that's a thing as well so anyway um that was like i said that was jersey mike's sub and that was considered vegetarian or pescatarian it's just not vegan because of the swiss cheese um i don't think they use any butter i think it's oil but yeah because of this the swiss cheese and the bread had parmesan you can also you know make sure you do your research ahead of time if you are looking to go vegan or whatever make sure the restaurants that you're going to they have vegan options or you know i was never a salad girl I'm, I'm more of a salad girl now than i was when i was vegan when i was vegan i learned how to cook food that i liked you know because i did not want salads but now i actually consume so many more salads than before um also it helps with weight loss too i'm not gonna lie when i when i cut out the dairy when i was vegetarian i didn't really drop any weight money's coming but like the minute i went vegan 30 days later i dropped all my weight um after you know a couple years i kind of plateaued and i could not lose weight unless i did keto with my veganism or you know so i was doing keto as well and then i would lose weight that way so 
So I'm kind of um, trying to do that's kind of where I'm going now because I do need to lose a weight. I'm looking to lose my baby weight. Um, and so I'm, I'm not really doing keto, but I have given up meat again, kind of, sort of, for the most part. Um, I'm not eating meat. Um, just until I can drop some of the pounds. <clears throat> but anyway, I'll come back on with some more info and, you know. Yeah, like I said, that whole Bashar, that whole Bashar, um, theory. I want to see who else knows anything about that or what y'all think about that. So, bye y'all.